hey you guys welcome we're going to be doing why is there no contact between you and your significant other um, this is going to be a timeless reading it is a pick a card so we're going to start with uh, group number one which is the lizard okay group number two which is the eagle we have group number three which is the unicorn and we have group number four which is the whale I'm just going to hold it here you guys can focus on those piles go by your first gut instinct and we're going to get started and see why there is no communication at this point in your reading Hello, group number one. This is for all of you that picked the lizard. If you pick the lizard, I am going to incorporate this right now. Um, the lizard is the reptilian mind. It's about the ego. It's about, um, you know, working through the aspects of the ego. And so you pick this. This is what I feel your person is currently going through. They're working through some very deep psychological patterns right now. So that's, that's awesome that they're working through it. Let's take a look and see what else is going on with them. Um, I'm going to use some different cards then yeah let's let's see this spirit is pulling me to this. Let's see what they're going through right now. This is for pile number one for the lizard. What is going on with the person? Why is there no contact right now spirit? What is going on for group number one? Why is there no contact right now spirit? Why are they silent to their person? Thank you spirit. whatever comes out. We're doing the heart space, the, the mind, the heart, the actions. This is sticking to my head. It's so hot here. I'm living near the equator, so <laughs> um, it's kind of really warm. All right, let's take a look at their headspace. Their headspace right now is they are in the two of cups in reverse, okay? So in their headspace that something has happened in this con connection with you, obviously it's ended or you wouldn't be looking at this. Um, they're thinking about ending a relationship. Uh, they haven't been able to make a choice in their heart, okay? And that's why this relationship ended. Something happened that they ended this because of either third party situation or it ended because they were unable to make a choice either between you, somebody else, their work or something like that. But this person is wanting to take action. We have the Knight of Swords, the King, sorry, the King of Swords here who wants to be clear, precise and communicative towards you. Um, and that's in their action place right now. We have the Seven of Cups in reverse. They know what they're seeing clearly here. Um, so something has shifted. Since things have ended, something has happened to this individual. I'm going to clarify with the right away. Something has happened. I feel that they are um, regretful. I wouldn't, believe the, believe, I wouldn't be surprised if the Five of Cups in reverse came up. I'm sorry for you my son. Um, they're in school and yeah, <laughs> online downstairs. So yeah, they're, they're upset because something has happened in their own life. So everything was ended for this person, and that's why um, they want to win up this completely. Exactly what I was saying. The tower has come up with um, a, a person in their life. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they want to win. Okay, there's been a lot of competition in this in this connection, either between you and another person or whatever. Uh, their challenge was to. Uh, to be quite strong okay they weren't able to rise up okay literally like they couldn't they did not have the courage they didn't have the bravery it's been quite a challenge for them in this connection you scare the hell bejeejees out of them is what i'm hearing and it ended because um they in their mind here uh, they wanted to put an end to it because they didn't want you to see how weak they really were. They weren't able to tame that lion. They weren't able to tame that ego, that reptilian mind, right? They weren't able to fully it, it, uh, tame it. It's been their challenge in their life, okay? To kind of, I'm hearing they're a bit of a people pleaser. They go and do what other people like. Um, they um, kind of give their shirt off their back for anybody and they couldn't do it for you because they were so scared of being bare and vulnerable with you. But they've awakened to um, a lot of what's happened in this connection because spirit has come in with fate. Fate has come in. We have the tower, the queen of pentacles with the um, wheel of fortune. So 
they're realizing since this ended, they've had a massive awakening. Um, things in their life completely fell apart. Uh, they know that they have to ground this because you are the Queen of Pentacles. You are the one that can bring prosperity to, to the connection. And something in their ego has broken, which is what we said at the beginning. Something definitely with that lizard <laughs> reptilian mind has broken. Let's take a look and see what has broken in their mind. Because we're looking at the mind space right now. Let's see what is broken in their mind. So they feel completely even more vulnerable is what I'm hearing. Oh, their poor love. Um, it's like, okay, I thought I was I was scared before, but now I am more scared because now I feel a bit like a bit of an ass. Like, um, I know this is faded. This person, I feel this person always knew that you were a big important connection to them, but they couldn't they didn't want to, they didn't want to believe it. And not because of you. It's nothing to do with you, the viewer. It has everything to do with them because they did they were they weren't courageous. They were ch they were challenged to stand up like a king, to stand up in their truth, you know, and um, in their emotions. And that's a hard thing for for strong for men, especially who hold a strong stance of boundaries. Let's see what's going on since this relationship ended. Spare for group number one, they've awakened. Something has flipped. Quite a few has flipped. Wow. So this is what they've realized with you, okay? We're going to take it as they came out. What they realized was that they have to heal their heart from this. They knew that when they ended things with you, okay, I have to heal my heart. As they started healing their heart, this is what happened. As they started to heal, they couldn't stop thinking about you. They were reminiscing on the past with you all the time you just would not leave their vibration okay group number one um they couldn't stop thinking of you it drove them absolutely insane and the reason why it drove them insane is because this is unconditional love this is um giving and receiving affection they fell in love with you instantly it's a huge twin flame connection soulmate connection and this is union they want this with you and because they went psychologically insane in the membrane is what i'm hearing they tried to heal. They tried to end this. They tried to walk away. And it's just like things just kept blowing up in their face. And uh, they've had to go through some deep darkness. And now they are thinking about you and they want to have victory here. They haven't. They're not strong enough yet. Clarify here the, the strength card. What is going on with that spirit? See, they want to call you about this breakup. It did come up in reverse. I don't usually take these cards in reverse, but there, there has a spirit tell me to show you that it did because they're hesitant about calling because of this breakup, because of how they treated you. So they're working on it. They're working on it and they do want to call you. I'm going to clarify that a little bit more. Clarify that place spirit for group number one. Yeah, they want to invest. They're waiting to do this so they can end their heartbreak. They know that it'll end their, their heartbreak. They don't want this to end. Um... They really don't want this to end. They, they're they waiting to invest in you. They're waiting to um, to call you to make this to make this move here. Um, they want to end their heartbreak. They've they've been healing their heart, as we've been seeing. They're procrastinating on delay on on really putting an end in their life. And they're trying to move through that. So whatever that they have to end in their life, it's kind of holding things up right now. I feel like it's finances. I feel there's something with their investments that's kind of holding things up a little bit. Um, but they th that's why they haven't quite called you yet. But um, they want this with you in and and, and something has healed with their reptilian brain. What's healed with the reptilian? This is their ego, okay? Clarify that lizard. <laughs> the spirit wants me to do the lizard. Uh, yeah, they've healed that with love. This unconditional love has broken this. Now, if you can heal, this is twin flame love. If this is, you know, if that love, so potent of God's love, can heal that reptilian mind, that monkey mind, that lizard mind, like, yes, this is a divine connection right here. This new beginning of love has healed them tremendously. So let's take a look at their heart space because they, oh, it's the crone. I thought it was choices. Sorry, guys. I thought they were stuck with choices, but okay. Spirit is saying there is choices that, that had to happen. I had to see it that way. Um, things were revealed because they didn't want to make a choice. Something about the choices in their life that they weren't unable, they weren't able to make because they didn't have the strength to do that at the time. And what's happening here is the wisdom of the crone, the secrets of the universe have been revealed to them. I don't know if your person does psychedelics, but there are mushrooms here. And so I feel like somebody may have had to shake up their mind and take 
a little bit of magic mushrooms or something to shake up their mind a little bit um, in order. They've done something drastic. They've done something differently. They've done something they usually wouldn't have or something to shift their consciousness, okay? Whether that's plant medicine or something else, but they've definitely been shifting their consciousness and something was revealed to them where they weren't able to make a choice. Let's clarify that because I got the choices before. Yeah, they didn't give to this connection before. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse because they were afraid of this Ten of Cups, right? They know that you're the Ten of Cups. They know that this is what they want and what's been manifesting, but they created a separation because they needed to heal and they closed themselves off. And why did they close themselves off, Spirit? Why did they close themselves off in their heart? Yeah, I told you, the Five of Cups, they regret it. Didn't I say, did I not say that this was going to come out? It was too hard for them to leave their comfort zone is what I'm getting, okay? And so they have massive regrets. So the choice what I'm getting was like they couldn't leave the old vibration. They couldn't leave the way that they were living, the stature that they had, the life that they had built for themselves. There, I feel there may be distance in this connection as well. And they, they couldn't travel to you and then COVID or, you know, all of this other stuff. They're like, okay, well, whatever, just it's not going to happen. And, they, and a lot more has been revealed. They've gained knowledge from the universe here and um yeah they were wearing a mask with you okay they were self-indulgent they've been starting to work on their shadow selves so this entire time they've been working on a karmic relationship here okay uh and that's why they they either hid it from you this is not something that you're just finding out now this is something that you knew that they had to work on their shadow self so it's validating what i was feeling that they had to make a choice and they didn't and so spirit is bringing up their heart things were revealed and this is why they haven't contacted you is because of this all of this um change that they have to undertake the change is so hard for them this person is very analytical um this is where your person is at why they didn't contact you they they felt you in the heart they knew it they they mentally knew it they want it now um but this is why they're not reaching out because they're still dealing with some of this old vibration like why are they not reaching out spirit why are they in no contact with group one service they're servicing somebody else do you see how this person has to give to like all these other people here in spirit they're being guided to like help this person who's on their deathbed or they have to it's almost like they're the main provider and they have to release this it's almost like they have to take care of other people in their life and they have to release these kinds of responsibilities in their life uh, it's almost like there's no time there um, and why they've had a lot of problems in regards to coming towards you they didn't know who you were going to fit and they over analyzed the situation completely I can see that they got stuck in their head. They overanalyzed everything and it pushed you away. And I, I was just going to say they isolated you. Okay. They put you in a box and said, okay, well, this is not going to work because this is too far a long distance. Or, you know, I have to change so much of my life to be with this person. And um, it completely uh, was this mask and it created a lot of tension in your connection. And they're not happy with this third party energy or what's ever happened in their life. They're definitely um, miserable and want to come towards you now. And that's what we're seeing here in their action. We have the king of of uh, swords here okay we have the king here all right so he's definitely wanting to come towards you definitely wanting to action you sorry i had to move the camera there let's take a look so they're ready for communication let's look at this rushing in with the knight of swords they're ready to rush in with communication okay we have the queen of wands they see you as that queen of wands fiery usually that's my third party situation but they're communicating whatever harsh realities to the third party they see you as the real queen of wands i'm getting a double message for that they see you as the real queen of wands because they know that their the karmic was fake um if they're in a relationship if not the karmic situation wasn't real at all and they know that you're the actual real deal so whatever they need to communicate they are they're letting their guard down look at this we have the emperor in reverse they know that they traded up their nine of cups their happiness uh with you okay that they have to let this go in order to gain this empress energy and they have to let their guard down and that's why they're not actioning anything with you right now you are the divine feminine and um they have to have some really difficult conversations which they're about to action right now 
look at this, again, letting their guard down. They're not defending any other karmic energies. They've learned their lesson from spirit. God has come in with the Hierophant, and uh, there may have been a marriage, but this is a, this is a decision, a divorce. This is um, the Hierophant and the Justice together. They are leaving third-party energy. They're creating a divorce. They're filing for stuff. They don't want this whatever is traditional there's no hope and renewal on this and they're really working on this so their action right now in their physical world right now why they're not contacting you is they're putting paperwork forward they're like not doing um this uh connection with whoever else that they were in a karmic situation with like it's done it's done and so they want to come right to you um they want to give it to you like in the right possible way really they don't want any remnants of anything and so i know you may feel well, why don't they just talk to me about it they want they they i almost feel this person may even like want to just take things serious right off the bat here with you okay let's see here yeah they're ascending okay they're ascending in this connection they know you're their paradise and they just keep looking at your photos from the past so they're really stuck in the past and you're giving them motivation why can't they contact right now i mean we did get the love call but there's something that's holding them up could be financially could be legal matters could be something that they're it's not quite ready in their plans this person is a thinker so they're already plan, planning on it and the reason why they're not coming forward is because they're looking at different options and plans and how to move forward Okay, so this person is coming towards you. They're just looking at how they are going to come towards you. Okay, let's take a look at this last card here. We have the Seven of uh, Cups in reverse. They see clearly. They see past any illusions. They see past any karmic situations. They're not dealing with whatever energies are around them, trying to persuade them out of anything. That is not a thing. They are definitely listening to their inner knowing. Okay, they're becoming untrapped. The Eight of Swords in reverse verse uh to come and bring you an offering so they know clearly that they're almost at the uh, ready they they're debating back and forth about how to do this they're juggling back and forth they know their ships are ready to come in they know that they abandoned you okay so they know that there's this abandonment energy that's happened here with the queen of cups okay so they understand this completely they understand that they <laughs> sorry guys that they abandoned you they left you out in the cold they left this connection you are their emotional love they know that they've been stuck because they haven't been quite honest with you they weren't sure what i'm getting um because they have other people that they're paying for and taking care of right now and they weren't sure how you were going to fit so let's see how they see like how are you going to fit now what has changed in their reptilian mind what broke how is pile one fitting in their life now it was their own insecurity right so what was what were what how so how does pile one fit now what has changed for for their person and pile one? what has changed now spirit right they know that you're their destiny that's what's changed they've they've come into a deeper knowing they're like no this is my person this is exactly what i need i need a renewal with my person so they know that before they were very insecure they weren't sure of themselves they didn't have that courage and um they're ready to like come forward so the no contact is going to be pretty much for group number one um, a contact pretty soon let's see if we can get any final answers um, i want you to think of a yes or a no question and we're going to ask the angel answers spirit can you give us a time frame of when this person is going to reach out for contact please spirit can you give us a time frame of when this person is going to reach out for contact thank you spirit can you please give us uh, yes and no to the person's answer if you want to answer you know how spirit is guys sometimes we don't we're not meant to know so we'll see what happens what cards need to come out please for group number one thank you i didn't see that so i don't know if you guys saw that flip on my hand what was it remain positive right now okay it's not the right time but within the next few months so there is planning that is happening right now you guys in pile one and so there is something that's going to happen soon you did get a time marker which is awesome keep doing you there's a delay in the ending of a karmic situation here right now there's still legal matters things that are happening this person is doing their best to move forward they want to renewal they know you're their destiny so hang in there and remain positive all right pile number one so much love thank you don't forget to like and subscribe if you want a reading with me i am doing readings for the month of june it won't be on my website you'll have to email me to book a time and uh, that info is down below bye guys 
Hello group number two. For those of you that pick for no contact, the Aguila, which is the eagle. This is going to be your reading. I'm going to incorporate this now. The eagle is the father energy. It is the high, it's actually, the hummingbird is in some traditions the highest consciousness, but the eagle is very much the father energy in a lot of indigenous tribes and um, is that one of the forms of the highest consciousness. And so this is about a uh, uh, very spiritual connection this person is having what I'm getting um, has been called to a higher path than the fine path that a lot of people haven't walked okay so this is a very sacred journey this is for souls that are having um, a very deep um, transformational awakening it is the path less followed and this is why it's taking so long okay to get to this point to fly as high as the eagle it takes a while to be able to elevate to this state of consciousness let's take a look because spirit is um, definitely bringing up um why your person hasn't contacted you is because their sensitivity is a very high form of pure soul consciousness and when you have a pure soul like that um, they've been a lot of pure souls have been degraded their whole lives and because of that um, it's a hard one to move out of and so their healing journey has been very deep and very dark but your person is very powerful number two okay let's see why is group two why is there no contact right now spirit why is there no contact with a group two's person why is there no contact with group two's person can we have a card for the mind the heart the actions and the outcome okay the mind the heart two more thank you so sticky here it's so funny how the cards stick to me we need one more so let's take a look here so far in the mind we have perseverance so they want to persevere with this connection but they're not contacting you right now because i feel like they're again their focus is working through a lot of their deep darkness to reach this height and if you pick this they're getting close okay um in their heart they're they're very grateful for this connection Okay, so they've hit a place of forgiveness. They've transcended the anger. They've transcended the pain, the fear, all of those things. They're in a place of trust, which is huge. Okay, so your person is coming very close to come into, look at this, a place of service in this relationship is the outcome that they so desire okay so they want this relationship and spirit is just throwing this in for you is just to be humorous about this okay there's going to be a lot of fun in this connection there already is a lot of fun spirit is saying that this is um a very high connection and that they couldn't they had to take their time to walk through their darkness they didn't want you there and as though i know you wanted to be beside this person and to help them through it spirit is saying you know uh, every strong enlightened being especially twins um they want to do the work they're on their own they want to have that discovery that moment of discovery for themselves you know what i mean they don't want someone to it's nice to have somebody there but they really want to match you is what i'm hearing they really want to get to the place where you're at okay viewer um they want to see how you see they want to experience how you experience and they didn't it's not that they didn't feel good enough they just they they're using this connection as not competition i want to say but as like a leveling up as you should be with your partners they're like okay like i see this girl this this or i see this viewer this viewer in pile number two is like she got it on she got it i need to like there is no way that I can have this gorgeous woman on my arm who is so powerful and I'm like uh, just hatching out of an egg. I need to become this eagle. I need to learn to fly. I need to learn to hunt. I need to learn to soar. I need to have a higher perspective. And so they didn't know their maturity at the time. This person really had to go through a sense of maturity, did not know at the time how to even express that to you okay palm number two um they had so much that they want to say to you that they knew that you would have just stayed beside them they knew that you would have been like yeah i'll help you and you would have waited and you would have been patient but they needed to experience other life experiences is what i'm getting so that they could really learn about themselves and they knew that on a very deep level but they didn't know how to express that to you or how you would take that and if you are at the point in your own maturity because you guys mirror right 
this is a twin flame connection is what I'm feeling. You guys mirror and how you would have taken that at the time and how that would have hurt you. And so they did just cut communication. I feel that they just ghosted you. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. What's going on with this perseverance place? What's going on with the heart space? What's going on with the actions and outcome? Oh, thank you. I'll take those two like this. Okay. So we have the two of pentacles, the four of wands in reverse, the wheel, the seven of wands in reverse, and the ace of cups in reverse. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is they're not contacting because they're still juggling. They're still juggling their perseverance. They're trying to figure out a way to come towards you. Uh, they have to break down a lot of their own foundations, okay, which they have already completed, and they're very grateful. They've already completed. You you can watch Pa 1. is very similar, but this person's already completed stuff. They're now living it up to fate. They're not contacting you because this person can manifest out their butt. I'm telling you right now, this person is powerful as hell. So they are manifesting a run-in with you, uh, spirit to work it out they're not actually putting all of the plans in place spirit is saying they're getting downloads of what they want to create okay thank you so they may be booking places i think they may surprise you with a trip hmm but they're doing something and they're putting those little actions and then they're going to let god take care of the rest um either through a friend of a friend contacts you. I'm not sure, but there's something synchronistic that's going to happen because that's the father energy. That's creator force energy. That's massive manifestation. So this person is really trying to figure out. Uh, I don't think they're trying to figure out. They're trying to let fate take it and trust that spirit's going to do this for them. And so they know they want to be in service with you. They know that this is a higher connection. So they want to be in service with you in this relationship. They're letting go of their defenses that you're, it's not going to be reciprocal. They know that you want them as much as you want them. They are completely aware of this connection. They are completely enlightened to it. Do not think that you're masculine or you're feminine. Whoever is in, you're in separation with does not know what's going on. They know exactly what's going on and they have left it up to spirit. This person is highly intelligent they're highly a manifester they're a go-getter but they are letting go of control and they're going to <laughs> you're going to be surprisingly shocked let's take a look what are they juggling with their perseverance spirit what is this two pentacles here why are they juggling this okay so they're juggling um this queen of wands they could be juggling whoops getting off a path right now if you're dealing with the karmic energy but what i'm seeing is they're if it's not dealing with a third party then they're dealing they're being the, the queen of wands to persevere for their dreams to get off old path to get a, to get off old ways of thinking in order to action their life towards you okay so they're definitely moving in that type of direction now um if it is a third party situation they are uh actioning this as we speak and looking at different ways to alleviate that queen of wands and get rid of them basically is what i'm seeing yeah because things have failed uh wherever things have failed they're not they're going to action and move forward and persevere with their life towards you they are very grateful whatever they've lost i feel this person may have lost stocks and bonds is what i'm hearing they may have invested and played in the stock market uh your person and they lost a, a bit of wealth there um yeah, and they and it was caused a lot of conflict in their finances. They had to get right with their money. I'm getting that they were having some massive money issues after they uh, things ended and the guys went into no contact. It actually helped them to level up very quickly and be like, "Whoa, I've been able to have abundance and foundation in homes." I'm seeing this person's also maybe in real estate. If your person's in real estate, some type of investment fell through, and they lost a large sum of money. Something happened that had to shift them in out of their money mindset to gain this enlightenment very quick. Your person takes. Um, your person when when something happens what i'm getting from this is when your person gets uh <laughs> gets a jolt spirit gives it to them hard okay it's not like they get a little a little lesson they get something big they level up pretty quick they're like whoa that's a sign so your person's already aware and very spiritual all right um yeah and this caused a lot of conflict their 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 foundation broke down it caused a lot of conflict in their life and it showed them where they weren't to action what they were supposed to action what they weren't actioning it gave them a proper discernment the knight of of uh wands in reverse it gave them a better understanding of um what they need to be actioning in their life what's actually really good for them and what isn't good for them and um that alone has they have been grateful for these lessons and that's what i'm seeing this 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 person 
does not sit in their darkness for long. Like, the reason why they haven't been in contact with you for a while is because the amount that they had to transmute was freaking huge. This person is so powerful that it would take, thank you, Spirit is saying, like, three lifetimes of a lower consciousness, of a human consciousness, something lower consciousness um, to work through. Another two to three lifetimes. They've done it in the period of time that you've been in separation. That's huge. Okay? So Spirit is saying that they're trusting, that they they know that God is going to put this together for you guys here. Yeah. The cycles and karma is going to end the world with the wheel to start something new with you. They know that contracts and things are ending with them. Whatever they were building before is coming to an end. They're trusting. They're letting it happen um, because they know that something new is building with you. So they're letting their investments fall apart. I'm seeing that they're letting, they pushed you away, right? Um, yeah, I want to find out a little bit more why they weren't, why they weren't contacting you because I feel that they just felt like, yeah, let's, let's ask that. I'm going to ask, um, getting pulled to that let's use this deck why didn't they why did they push pile two away why did they stop ghost why did they ghost pile two truly why did they ghost pile two because this person seems so awakened and so like knowing what they're doing but it's almost like they didn't feel like they could express that inner knowing to you you know it's like they knew that they had this insight but they played almost like they weren't that awakened is what i'm getting and so you weren't entirely yeah they had faith that if they did that it would still work out it oh i see what they did they want me to take it i see what they did they said look if this really is this twin flame thing and we're as magical as we're supposed to be i'm gonna have faith that no matter what i do i can't mess it up they know about this connection i feel your person knew about your connection before you even knew about the connection or how deep this really went your person was a little sneaky i'm gonna be honest your person um is very awakened okay um they're like okay you know, if I ghost this person, because I just can't explain myself right now, it's too deep. I don't know if we're ready to go into that depth. Wherever they were in their life, they weren't ready at all. There was something that they um, weren't quite the eagle yet, and they wanted to be that for you because they saw how powerful you were, that they had faith. And they said, if it was meant to be, it's going to be. And that's exactly what they're doing here. They're still coming into a place of trust. They're letting spirit guide it, okay? They were impartial about this connection at the beginning so they weren't sure they wanted they wanted something tangible they wanted they wanted it to manifest in the 3d to see if they were able to let you go they wanted to test your connection they wanted to see can i let this go can i let this person go is it as intense as it is or is it just in my head and this person put god to the test is what i'm hearing okay that's very interesting your person's very interesting they have a lot of guilt here because of the amount of passion that they had for you and what they did to you. They know that it hurt, okay? They know, they said, they saw maybe that they played a game and they should have expressed more to you of what they were doing and what they saw, but they, thank you. Spirit is saying the more that they opened their heart, what happened is that they would have been hook, line, and sinker, and they would have jumped right in with you, and they weren't ready. And they just simply weren't ready, and they know themselves. And they know themselves so well. To have that type of self-awareness, they knew that, so they cut it and had faith in God that, okay, I know it's an ass, but I know that I'll be able to make amends with it one day and be able to work on my, on my passion and work on my guilt through this connection, and I'll be able to bring karmic justice to it. I'll be able to bring the balance to this. Okay, so they know that justice will be served. They had faith the entire time that this was going to come into a place of justice. They never doubted it. They never doubted it, okay, um, viewer number two. The Spirit really wants you to hear that so that you can come into a place of fully more surrendering in your faith to Spirit that they did know this whole time. And if you needed that validation, Spirit is bringing that through that they they did know this entire time, but they don't want you to get butt hurt about it. They want you to see that this person was so awakened that if they did open that door and go deep and talk about all of these insights and visions that they had with you and this knowing, they knew that they would have been hook, line, and center, and they didn't want to ruin the connection. It was a form of protection. They are the father energy. They are the masculine. They are strong, and they were guided to just let it go. Um, and that spirit would bring it back together. So they know that spirit is going to make this work because all the contracts, everything's falling apart right now in their world. And um, they're trusting that they're going to be able to build a new foundation with you with the four of pentacles. Um, 
they've been hanging on to you, right? But they also know that when the heart and the mind are aligned in the Four of Pentacles, it's something ground, something is a foundation that starts to, to happen. When the heart and the mind are aligned, you can manifest anything. So they want to be in service with you in this relationship. They know that if they let their guard down, um, that if it was unrequited, right? If this was meant to be, then it will come back around. And if it was unrequited, then it would never come back together. And that's where they're sitting in this outcome, that they're letting their guard down, that they know that this is coming back together. Okay. They're coming, they're at a crossroads right now and coming out of a place of apathy and um, re almost getting ready for a renewal. They're not ready for the renewal yet, but they're coming close. Okay. They're letting their guard down. They know where the unrequited love has been in their life. They had to test things out in their life. They wanted to see what was happening in their life, where their doubts were and other connections maybe, but they wanted to see exactly what was happening. Yeah where they're not going to invest anymore. They had to be clear with themselves. This person is, again, very analytical. And people that are highly analytical and have this higher type of genius intelligence, they need to kind of look at all perspectives. They can't just go by their feelings. They need to go test things out. They need to test other relationships. They need to test, um, you know... <sighs> other jobs they need to they need to you know uh like a scientist they need to prove their hypothesis they need to prove it to themselves something that's tangible and that's your kind of person but that's a high intelligence so spirit wants you to realize that that it may not have been the best way just to ghost you they could have maybe said look i just need this time alone but spirit is saying that you wouldn't have quite left this person alone either they want you to be honest with that as well what i'm getting is that the friendship alone and whatever they felt so intense with you it, it they feel that it may have ruined would have ruined this connection um because they would have been right in there with you because they know themselves that they would just surrender to you and um they want it pure they want it real they want it aligned and so mm -hmm. this this connection now why are they not contacting they do want this they want to stop fighting with this with this connection they're they're stop fighting it um, I, I feel like they had to fight a little bit to try and discover more of themselves. They're coming out of a place of entrapment, eight of swords in reverse. Um, and they're not contacting you right now because they're closing off the past. So they are letting things crash and burn. They're letting things that have failed, fail. They're not fighting any for anything, to be honest. Um, their money showed them a lot of stuff and what they had to do, but they're really coming into a place of understanding that um, it, it was meant to be for them to close off uh, the, everything of their past because this vibration is holy, it's sacred, it's the Aguila, it's the, it's the eagle energy. It is, um, Spirit wants you to just find the humor in all of this because as painful as it's been, I feel like this is an opening for you to realize that they actually knew everything. And if that was in your gut instinct, yeah, they did. Let's see. Why is Pile 2's person not in contact with them? Why did they ghost Pile 2, please? Why did Pile 2 ghost the viewer? Why did Pile 2? Why, why did they ghost? They liked you. There was, there was a connection that happened here, okay? There was a connection. There was romance that was blooming in your connection, but they left. They got in their boat and they left uh, because they had to experience other soulmates, okay? They left for another soulmate. They left to experience another way of life. But they knew and trusted that this was unconditional love. And if it was unconditional love, they knew then faith that it would come back together if it was really meant to be. Let it go. If it comes back, it's meant to be. And so now they know they're feeling the passion for you, group number two, okay? They were in a karmic situation. They're now realizing the discernment of energy of what it was. They want to talk to you now. Okay, they want to talk to you about stability, building something with you, foundation. Remember the four pentacles that I saw? They want to talk to you about this uh, because they want to talk to you about all their outdated thinking and the right realizations that they've gotten and um, tell you more about what they've already known and what they've learned along the way. And uh, yeah, it's really beautiful. So let's see if we can get a time frame for when they're going to be contacting you. You can think of a yes and no question right now. Um, but they haven't contacted you because they wanted to experience life. They wanted to gain their own consciousness awareness alone on their own. 
You know, I hope you can understand that the spirit wants you to try and dig a little deeper with these messages. If you want a reading, we can go deeper if this is your situation. I am doing readings for the month of June. I don't usually open up readings, so if you are interested, that info is down below. Um, yeah, and just go a little deeper into asking about this, okay? If this resonated with you. Think of a yes and no question. We'll see if spirit answers it with a yes or no. Um, and we'll see if we can get a time frame, spirit. Can we please get a time frame of maybe when this person in their person in group number two when they will be in contact with them please oh i'm sorry guys i'm getting bit by a sand fly Ooh. gosh you don't got mosquitoes at night here in south america you get the damn sand flies let me tell you what is going on with group number two please what is going on with group number two can we please have a time frame of when their person will contact them and a yes and no answer for group number two please Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Well, group number two, you did get a yes. So whatever you asked, it is a yes. Okay, so this is a yes. There is going to have to be forgiveness and improving health right now. So there is a healing process that's happening. Um, this is a yes. This is a forgo. This is a forgiveness and a letting go. I think that's why those messages came out. Um, that there is going to be healing and there is an improvement that is coming. So I'm sending you guys so much love. If you like that, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget if you would like more info, all that info is down below. Bye, guys. Hello, pile number three. If you pick this beautiful unicorn, this is your reading of why there's no contact. This is for the really psychic couple. I'm seeing you guys have a lot of telepathy. You're a very magical group, um, pile number three. This is something that is very unique, very different. The earth doesn't see that often. You guys tap into realms that a lot of people don't. I feel that sometimes people categorize you guys as crazy, a little bit insane, like um, your views don't matter because they don't seem tangible or logical or rational to the human psyche. But spirit wants you to realize that you have a different type of understanding the universe you have a different way of knowing spirit and it's in a very beautiful magical way that um, people kind of sometimes think that you're a little bit uh, kind of way out there and that those are just dreams and a little crazy thinking but spirit is saying that you and your person um, are having more of a difficult time in the separation because they think in a very similar fashion you're you both could be either artists uh, you could be uh, uh, very creative people maybe one's a writer one is an actor maybe musicians uh there is something about uh anime i don't know why i'm saying anime but anime is a little bit different and so um whatever you guys are into is a little bit out of the norm and so they're having a hard time realizing that there's actually another person just like them so that's really fascinating let's take a look at their um, why they're not com communicating with you we're going to be taking a look at the mind heart actions and outcome spaces those four spaces what is going on for pile number three please spirit why is the person in no contact with them why is this been ghosted they have such a magical you guys have a very peaceful energy this person is highly sensitive and tends to shy away from a lot of things and um i'm feeling that you guys are here to bring some type of androgyny together too and this may not resonate for everyone i'm getting a message made for small elite people but it's almost like you both may be bisexual you both are you know um very fluid sexually there's your gender fluid and so you have more of an androgynous energy transgender same sex whatever it is and so what's happening is that you both sit on a very different spectrum you're not either you know some people are more feminine more masculine but your balance is more within each other and so this connection is a little bit more difficult to ground and um, you're a different set of kind of twins that are here okay so uh, let's see what is going on for the minds why is this person not contacting mind heart oh we got all right away guys these two are going to go together. Wow. What do I do with this spirit? Okay. Okay. We're going to do it this way. Sorry, guys. They want me to clarify. You guys are getting a little bit different. They want me to clarify like this. And they want me to pull two more. Those two came out. Okay. All right. So let's take a look here. 
what is going on in the mind space we have boundaries and we have divine love oh you guys the reason they are contacting you is because <laughs> they feel this divine love completely do you see how magical this is like look at this look at this little fairy sitting in the garden and holding this and you know this is the feminine here's the masculine and it's so beautiful it's like he set this boundary <laughs> i'm sorry i shouldn't laugh but he's like you can only come to me here this is my safe place this world looks too big and open i don't know he doesn't have the courage to come forward here he's very sensitive he's and in he he loves that you see the fairies he loves that you see the other realms he loves that you see the magic but it scares him and so this person is very sensitive and this type of intense love is not like anything they have ever felt before it's out of this world it truly is you guys are either star seeds um you come from other realms you're not you haven't incarnated a lot here is what i'm seeing you came from other places this person knows the truth of this connection but they're not acting on it they think of you all the time so the telepathy is very strong so if you've been feeling the telepathy it's super strong in this connection they know the truth of this but they sit here and they rest and they think about you all the time they're like oh oh how do I, and they may have a lot of water in their chart. They're very intuitive. They don't know how to actually ground this. They don't know how to court you. They don't know like all of those human things that we learn in relationships of romance. It's like, it's just that, is that even gonna work? How do I even do that? It's, um, they're questioning that's not even good enough for you, pile number three. So it's like, do I sing a song for this person? Do I write music for this person? Um, they're feeling you intensely. They know the truth of this intensely, but they are resting in it, okay? Right now, what they're trying to do is go with the flow. They're not trying to do anything. There's a one person in this boat, okay? And they're trying to gain relief by walking away from some very toxic energies in their life that have been siphoning this ener their energy. I'm feeling this person is such an empath that they get involved a lot with narcissist energy and they completely were thrown off um, by the connection with you. They may not have seen it coming. You guys, for some of you, I'm seeing may have been friends since childhood and you may not have seen it coming you know there may have been a deep bond and you're like whoa wait a minute i think i'm in love with this person um so that may be complicated and that you have to walk away from or their person or take it as, as it resonates could be your person has to walk away now from something um and has to go with the flow and be solitude for a while um it could also be that maybe it was a co-worker and you just never thought that you would fall in love with this person like it was just your boss or it was like a co-worker and you're like yeah they're a good friend but then all of a sudden you're like whoa i'm in love something came as a shock uh to either you or their or your person and um the sensitivity and the divine love and the magic it's um it's so unique it's so different it's not what humans usually feel okay it doesn't match anything there's a deep friendship first is what i'm seeing there's the sexual energy is kind of what scares this person i think they, they don't even know how to even be intimate with you um because everything that was intimate with them before was always something physical or a fantasy or played in roles role playing or whatever it was that they could create they're very imaginative that they can create in their mind but this is out of their world that their mind can't even create a connection like this so they're like oh, what do i do and so their action right now and why they're not contacting you is that intensity but they're also realizing that they're surprised by how much they care and they're also walking away from narcissistic energies in their life i feel they're surrounded i feel that they need to still be supported by family in some way and so to cut those ties right now um you guys may be younger than other twins um you may still be at home or you've had to move back home or one person had to move back home or it has to be in a family because of the financial situation of our world right now there's nowhere that they can live in two separate places it's just not financial financially feasible right now is what i'm hearing um, but the outcome that they desire is this deep transformation 
for this divine connection, this person is ready to hit their divine, their, their um, transformation. They're ready to walk through the dark. If you look at these cards here, there's a lot of purple and divinity coming through the dark. So I don't know if they're going to contact anytime soon or they're going to reveal. You may be in contact, but I think it may be it's just friendship is what I'm picking up for, for a lot of you, that there's a deep friendship, that maybe it's just a friendship that you're contacting, but to reveal the depths of these waters, or um, if you're completely ghosted, um, to come into a type of connection right now, I feel that they're just coming into their deep transformation, okay? Let's go a little deeper. I want to use a different tarot deck. And as I'm doing that, Spirit is pulling me to pull these first because you guys are high star seed. So I'm going to use the star seed deck here, okay? Um, because I know this may not be a message that some of you want to hear. It's like I know you want this. Um, but there is a patience here because of the fragility and the innocence and the purity of your souls spirit is saying this is not something that can be rushed right now you guys are um, the next level okay the ones that are here to ground the twin flame grid line is what i'm hearing are the warriors to create a safe pathway for you highly sensitive beings you guys are higher sensitive beings you can't do that brunt work of breaking systematic uh, stuff that's like that's for your soul tribe family who's doing that the ones like um who are going to just break the system and kill that shit down you know like um you guys are going to be bringing the harmony and the peace and so that's why it may not be happening right now can i get one for the mind please for group number three thank you the heart space for the person why are they not contacting these two are coming together okay they're sitting in and look you got truth t twice here okay why is group three not contacting? Why is group three not contacting? We'll get one more. So I'm getting one more. And let's get one more for here. There's a vision here. Let's get one more for, for the buying space. Thank you. Okay. So what I'm getting here is, okay, they've set these certain boundaries. They've seen the vision here, okay? They've seen the vision of these, and that's why they, they're sitting in their little, in their little place, okay? Um, because they're trying to figure out this high pillar of, like, light and, and sensitivity in their life. They know that this is going to transcend their mind's limitations completely. This is a divine love. This is going to transcend everything that they've ever known. And they are fully aware of that. And so this is why they stay away. They know this truth. You got truth on truth. So don't, if you think your person doesn't know, your person knows. This person is completely aware of this truth. Okay. They're completely aware of this truth. And that's why they're resting. <laughs> they're having patience. Okay. Spirit is talking. There's a bird outside. If you hear that okay so that's a message from god that they want to message you they may do it in a friendly manner if anything but i feel that they're still working through a lot of their own life they're looking for signs they're going for the flow in their life but they're doing their work on their own and they're looking for signs for spirit to guide them this person is spiritual and they're looking for their own signs and they know that if they have to walk away from narcissistic energy in their life they're going to be grateful for it they're being grateful for their lessons right now but they haven't hit their transformation they're about to they're about to go through some darkness right now okay in order to um find this abundance that they so seek with you and this is why they are not contacting you they also know that the blue flame see your blue flame twin flames there's a very high potent uh energy with the indigo and blue flame connect to the blue flame which is the light of pure love within you you guys are very pure souls okay that pure energy some i mean not every everyone's soul is pure but there's a different frequencies of purity too you guys are like pure okay and that type of unconditional love is not seen a lot in the world and so this is needed because it's blue flame love and this is a divine connection and so it's needed um this transformation right now and this is why um, nothing is quite happening as of yet, okay? We're going to clarify here for group number three. Why is there person in no contact, please? I feel that they're still having to learn to deal with their own sensitivities. You may be doing the same. Oops. Sorry, guys. I'm going to just move these up a little bit. You may be doing the same as well because um, you're very empathic. So Spirit doesn't want you to get caught in 
that aspect of, you know, but if they loved me, they would contact me. Why can't we do that? I know that's hard, but that's still our human mind that's doing that, right? The human mind has a hard time grasping on for some type of stability and they, and they're they're never aware or no, the mind is never aware or knowing where that stability is going to come from and being as sensitive as you and your person are um it's even harder with that type of stability so they have to go through a deep transformation to gain that stability to ground things and so do you is what i'm hearing okay so why is group three's person not contacting them in the mind can you please bring that forward yeah they had to walk away there was a walking away, right? In order to transcend to for this love, um, we have the Six of Swords in reverse that they they haven't been able to, um, Page of Pentacles, give you an offer and return yet, okay? They know they, they need to offer you something, but they're not returning yet. Um, and why is that spirit? Why is this person not returning in their mind and not contacting them? See, they want to come into this masculine energy to manifest the Queen of Wands here, to manifest this fire energy in action that they want to manifest. They want to, they want to become powerful in themselves to bring this together. The Ace of Swords in reverse, but they don't know the truth of their own soul yet. So how can they know the truth of what they can give anything to you at this moment? They need this transformation. This is what I'm really picking up for Pile 3 in a really big way, okay? They're sitting in their truth and they're having patience and they're resting in their heart place. They think of you constantly. And Two of Cups, they know they want this relationship with you. Eight of Pentacles, they want to work on it. But why are they not contacting Spirit in their heart? What do they feel? Uh, five of Pentacles, they want to return. They want to come out of the cold, but they're not actioning it right now. They're in pain because they, they didn't take this leap of faith. They don't feel mature enough for you, okay? Um, they were childish, and we have the hangman in reverse. They know they may have missed an opportunity because they didn't rush forward with you. And they feel ch they feel childish. They feel foolish. And they felt like this their whole life. This is the maturing process of what they're going through. This pain is what keeps them in their demise. That's what needs to be transformed because it's um, moving from a page into a king, which takes a lot of work, and it's unrequited. It wasn't that it wasn't unrequited. They felt that if you saw their immaturity, then it would be unrequited. And so they pulled back so that they can give to themselves Six of Pentacles with the Hermit. So they purposely pulled back so that they can offer themselves this love, this patience, this truth, this rest because they needed it to transform they're grateful right now um relief right now because they're walking away from some dark things they have to learn about that they're going with the flow in their life and they're learning a lot about their own solitude if there is a third party i'm not feeling anybody here i feel that they're really learning to stand their ground in their life is what i'm getting um anything in their life has failed so if you have been dealing with third party it's failed it's done they've been learning to use their intuition look at this their gifts their their highly psychic ability in order to move forward here of where their page of cups in reverse where they weren't giving themselves this love in the past three of wands and um it's caused an issue where they can't plan for their future because of the emotional instability within themselves. That's the maturing process that they need to go through. And that's finding their intuition and realizing my intuition has been right this whole time. I have to find the signs. I have to go with the flow. I have to be grateful for all of these negative things that I put an end to now. So they have ended karmic situations. That's already done with. Um, they've had a slew of bad luck. Seven of pentacles in reverse, the wheel of fortune in reverse, and the ten of pentacles in reverse. So, yeah, commitment... If they were in third party, it's over. Family issues they've had to heal. They have to let go of old family ties and the family lineage and those those karmic situations with the family around them too because it just kept bringing a slew of bad luck. So this person has already done a tremendous amount of work, but they haven't hit their, trans, their transformation point yet to be able to come back into a spiritual union. Let's see the outcome here because they know this is high blue flame love. This is a soul connection, a divine connection. We have the two of wands in reverse. They see it clearly with the king of pentacles in reverse so they want to be the king of pentacles they want to be that stable grounded energy and they know that's what they're, they're aiming for but they're not quite there yet 
they don't want to become this money greedy hungry person either they're trying to balance their high sensitive nature and their pure soul and how they know spirit with the money world they have a trouble they have trouble with that too that's part of the maturing process they need to go through in the transformation the two of pentacles in reverse they know that um they can't juggle this they don't want to juggle this they want to offer you a commitment the hierophant with the two of swords once they see clearly so this is after they go through their transformation right because right now they're in a transformation we also have the king of cups they're highly sensitive right they love you they want to be able to offer this love but they want to give you stability too and so where are they in their transformation process four of swords see they're resting <laughs> they're still transforming right they're still healing so that's why the separation is going on they will come forward when they are ready um let's pull some island time for you guys why is pile number three please not contacting their person why is pile number three not contacting their person please why is pile number three not contacting their person why is pile number three not contacting their person why is pile number three not contacting their person, please? Why is pile number so I'm just gonna take whatever comes out. Why is pile number three not contacting their person, please? <laughs> wow, guys, wow, okay. They're doing their shadow work. It's exactly what I'm saying. They're focusing on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. So they're really, and that's what I'm saying, they're in solitude right now. They're not really dating. They're not looking at that. They're really working on the transformation to ground that. And that's what they're going through right now. So that's why they're not contacting you. They're really trying to find their stability. That's what exactly what I was saying. They're trying to ground that into their finances so they don't get caught up in this world as well. They're so highly empathic. They can get lost in the money stuff too. People can, especially when you're highly sensitive, get lost a lot in this world of what abundance is, of what money is, and how our worth is derived from that. And they don't want to get caught in that and so they're really taking their time to build that stability before they can come forward to you they're putting an end to things this is exactly what i was seeing with with the um the relief card and walking away so they have ended things if you've been questioning if they're in other relationships it's over like they've definitely been ending things and they're working on their happiness their expansion their joy to bring in this paradise um, before they come forward to you and keeping a positive mindset so they can hold this space of abundance they have such a unique gift of sensitivity that they need to learn how to ground that. And that's really where they're at right now and going through this transformation as we speak. And that's why they're not in contact with you, okay? We're going to pull some angel, angel cards here. So just think about your person. We're going to see if you get a yes or a no, if a spirit allows it. And we're going to ask for a time frame. This is for poll number three, please. Why is the person ghosting them? Why are they not in contact with their person? And if you get a yes or no answer for those that are in pile number three, the first unicorn, please, spirit. What is going on with pile number three? What is going on with pile number three and their person? Can we get a yes or no? Or can we get to their question, the viewer's question? And can we get, please, a time frame? What is going on for pile three, please, spirit? We're going to get one more spirit to say. Thank you. Okay. So the first thing they're saying is like this person is in recovery. Okay. So this is, they're not ready. They're still dealing with a lot of their own healing process. And we saw that already. Okay. It will happen in perfect timing. So spirit doesn't want you to worry. It's going to happen in perfect timing mm -hmm. in the near future. Okay. Something will, you will maybe get a contact or something right now. is not the right time to integrate anything. I it's again, it's going to be friendship is what I'm hearing. Um, but in the near future, you may get a text, you may get a message, you may get something in the near future. Something will shift in the near future because they're going through a transformation and, um, it's not the right time right now. Okay. And it's not the right time maybe for what you expect this to be is what I'm hearing. Spirit is saying, um, just hold a little bit more space. Um, and friendship energy as this person goes through some deep transformation and that means that you also need to, to go through some of that as well so just know that right now you may hear from this person it's really beautiful there's two people in this card in the near future um, just realize that we have to let these expectations go a lot for the recovery to happen it's going to happen in perfect timing what you do want will happen in perfect timing something will happen in the near future that will shift something but it may not be what you expect or what you want but just know that it is happening in the perfect divine timing 
all right guys if you want to go deeper if that resonated with you i am doing readings for june take a look and send me an email it's not on my website you can't book a reading through my website so you have to email me um because it's only for my soul tribe members so if you are interested that info is down below don't forget to like it helps the karma go around and subscribe if you feel pulled to my channel and i'm sending you so much love bye guys Hi, group number four, the ones that picked number, sorry, not the number, the whale. These are one of my favorite, the whales. Oh, the beautiful songs that they sing and their intuitive nature and the depths of what they're able to swim in. You guys go very deep. Your person is in the process of what I'm seeing is skimming the bottom of the ocean, really um, transmuting a lot of deep childhood traumas, things that have happened when they were very young. I'm seeing that they've almost reached the point of um, where of healing that deep, deep, deep um, trauma of where things have happened to them in childhood. Whatever uh, they have went through and blocked that innocence, it's starting to regain strength. I'm feeling communication is coming very quickly for you because this person took you for granted. Group number four is what I'm feeling. I'm also feeling that uh, they didn't realize how much work you actually did on yourself. They may have thought that you were a little bit, hmm, ooh, what am I feeling? Uh, a little bit like, oh, she went through that trauma? She can't be healed from that. Or, or he, I, I shouldn't say she or he, but um, I feel that they, they almost didn't believe you when you first met um but the spirit is saying whatever karma that they caused uh, and did not um in this connection what happened is like they got their karma <laughs> and it showed them it really showed them how deep you actually go and how deep they're able to go and now they've learned a new perspective wow that's what i'm getting let's see pile number four no contact what is going on for pile number four why have has the person ghosted them what is going on for pile number four please spirit what is going on for pile number four we're going to take a look at the mind the heart space the actions and the outcome what's going on for pile number four thank you spirit what's going on for pile number four mind heart i saw that card the void and outcome I saw that when I was shuffling. I was like, I bet you that one's going to pop out. But I didn't say it, but I did feel it. All right. So in their mind, they are being called to come out of their their darkness, okay? They've been doing the work for a bit. The portal has opened, okay? They're, they're getting called by spirit to walk through something new now, okay? So if you've been feeling a shift in your connection, it's definitely happening. They haven't called you because they've been kind of stuck in this... Um, soul gifts and training it's time to step up yeah they've been stuck in this like cathedral or like a building like a tomb almost right they've been stuck here in the door they've been looking for a way out and finally they're like whoa wait a minute why didn't i see that solution why didn't i see that before so this person is definitely being called right now in their heart it says forge don't follow pave a new path be the leader of the wish you wish you had now this is their childhood trauma they're healing no one guided them no one showed them the way they had to learn things their own way. And what I'm seeing is that even though they were able to like make something of themselves in this world, I feel this person may have a lot of money. They may have built their own business or entrepreneur. They're very established. They were able to move in their world and create and, and, and spare things on illusion, but like, you know, a little bit of an illusion of, you know, being okay in their world and being fine. But what they realized is that they were holding a deep trauma that they, they were going about it in a really, um, wrong way they were following what others were telling them and they've come into a realization they've gone to the depths now okay they may have taken you for granted for how deep you could swim but they see now where you're coming from that they have to forge a new path with you that they have to come into their own now their action towards you is a perspective see this is exactly what i was saying they were able to go through some really dark stuff that now this matters zoom out common ground they want to come into this common ground with you they see the, the earth the way that you see the earth they've gone on into the darkness and look how familiar that is with the whale with what i was feeling here right like look at that you know that you swim in the dark they've been able to swim through the dark and they're able to see it so they're coming into this really amazing perspective about you that they didn't see before they zoomed right out they can see how you see now so they weren't quite there that's why they ghosted you they're like is this person for real like i'm gonna be honest like i don't know if they thought 
the greatest not the greatest but they kind of have these perceptions about you like oh come on like this person talks to the trees or like come on really this person can telepathically talk to animals that's not real like something about that um they're like you're a little bit woo woo or a little bit too much and now they're like whoa and now they're discovering these things in themselves and they're like oh okay i get it and this is why they didn't contact you because they thought well maybe like we're just never going to get along. There's an incompatibility issue here. Like, I'm so logical and so grounded. Like, this person is a little woo. And Spirit is saying here, Star Brothers, Horus Energy, Protection, Loyalty, Safety, and Trust. They're coming into this beautiful masculine energy of balance. This is reminding me of two scales of wisdom. It's like almost like you were one eagle, okay, connected already. And they weren't quite there yet. One looks almost higher than the other to me. I don't know why this one seems more prominent and sorry, I don't know why, but it's like almost like they're coming into this understanding of a star brothers, your, your twins. It's like you're the same family. Okay. And this is, you know, the God raw raw is the Eagle head, you know? And so the depth that you were in, they now see the depth. Okay. So they want to come forward. I'm really excited for you guys because I really feel like, this person definitely wants to come forward with you. Let's take a look. What is going on for pile number four? Why is the person in no contact? So they were in no contact because they just think there was an incompatibility issue. I'm going to be honest. That's what I feel. I feel like, if I, how is this ever going to ground? Like, yeah, we have the soul connection. Yeah, it's potent. Yeah, it's like, so this. But how can I make that tangible? This person is, you know a little bit too uh, you know into this stuff like i don't know if this person was completely into this spiritual stuff but they're seeing things completely different now they get you now they understand so what is going on with pal four's person why are they in no contact spirit why are they in no contact for pile number four in their mind what is going on with pile four i feel that they still have a perception of what other people think of them so it hasn't quite healed yet so they may not be in contact soon we have the Ten of Pentacles. Let's just get the cards out. What does this person feel in their heart towards Pile 4, please? Why is there no contact in from their heart, please, to Pile 4? Why is there... Whoop. Whoop. Thank you. The Fool in Reverse. Page of Wands and the Outcome, please, Spirit. The Seven of Pentacles and the ace of wands in reverse okay so i think they may have been ahead of family or they're afraid of family values and traditions they were thinking with this ten of pentacles you know i want a commitment i would i could see something with this person but i don't know if it's tangible i don't know how my family would it would <laughs> they're not contacting you because they don't know how their family would react okay but they're being called now because this door is opening up and now they're definitely being called up. They feel a bit foolish about it in their heart now because now they're realizing the leadership qualities that you actually have in the new earth. COVID is what I'm hearing. You guys may, for some of you, um, what I'm getting for a small bit of you, uh, knew this person before COVID and they went into separation right before COVID and then COVID happened and they were forced to go into their darkness and to get very serious about themselves. And now they're like, oh, wait a minute. I get it now. So they were forced into their awakening and they feel a little foolish about this because nothing ever got started. And now that they've gained a new perspective, they want a new passionate beginning here. They want to um, be on a new spiritual path. They want to discover the passion of this. They want to communicate with you. And they're realizing that, you know, this is protection, loyalty, safety, and to trust this calling and to invest in it. But they're delaying. There's a delay here. This is what I'm saying. I don't know if they're completely ready. They want to invest. They want, but they're waiting before they action this. So let, let's go a little deeper, guys. Why is there no contact here with the Ten of Pentacles for group number four? Why is there no contact? Okay. They have to let their guard down to action this with their family. I feel that they have a very close-knit family or they're supporting a family and they just can't um, tell them that they want to walk through this doorway. That's why that portal energy is here, right? Walking through that new doorway. They're like, damn, I didn't see that door. There's a song called um, by Ajit Carr called A Call. And there's a, a part in the in with Trevor Hall. She sings it with Trevor Hall. And there's a part in the song that goes, um, We come from earth and water. Hi. 
that door I never saw, I never knew, me and you, there's a, a, a line there that just came through. And so they, there was a door there that they never saw with you and them, and they see it now. And now they're like, I have to let my guard down, and I have to action this, but how is my family going to, my children, my family, my whoever I'm close to, how is this going to happen? Because I feel like you're really different. They don't know how you're going to fit. That's the emperor. That's going to help them rise, though, to deal with this. Um, they have to work on their on their karma because nothing's going to turn for them. Nothing's going to. They're going to get a slew of bad luck if they don't focus on this. this is a divine masculine here that they need to action this. Okay, they need to action the family, the commitment, a marriage, if that's your situation. Um, but they have to let their guard down. They have to start doing this, and they know this. They are in the places of in the space in their head that they're analyzing this now. I don't know if they're in the action yet, but we're going to get there. They feel really foolish because they didn't take you fully seriously. They really didn't. That's why they didn't communicate now they feel stupid now they're like sitting in the hermit mode going what do i do now how do i even talk to this person now um because they don't know how to merge both worlds yet they know that they 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 missed an opportunity the hangman in reverse they missed an opportunity with you and because uh, they know they can't wait anymore they can't plan for their future anymore either they feel foolish they pulled back um because they didn't plan a future with you they didn't invest in you they didn't make these plans um and they missed an opportunity they feel really foolish they, they're kind of staying away because they're like do i just stay away because it's just better to stay away um they do see things very clearly we have the two of swords in reverse but they know that they haven't given to the situation and they've really upset you so they're like should i disrupt this person's life now do i come in like i get it but i feel so stupid it's almost like a shame thing it's almost like oh my god i just want to kick myself like i was so dumb in this situation and so you didn't do anything wrong i don't feel upon them before i feel like this person just really didn't see the magic of your soul and how deep you actually go um but they were given theirs i'll be the honest with that and so this page of wands they want to passionately communicate with you that they have a new perspective they want to be honest we have the seven of swords in reverse we also have the two of cups that they they want they will end a relationship for you if there's another relationship they want to talk to you about why they ended it they want to tell you that they didn't see you know what this was they want to passionately action and come towards you and start something new here with you why is paul for not communicating they were obsessed. They were in a toxic behavior mindset. That's why. That's why they didn't communicate with you. They were going through some really darkness in their own shadow. So they didn't see where you where you were seeing. They didn't hear your perspective. They didn't hear the words you were talking. It's almost like, you know, spirit is bringing up when you read a book and you read it and you're like this book is i can't understand a word they're saying and then you put it down then you pick it up like two years later and like whoa wait a minute i get this now it's kind of like that they couldn't hear what you were saying even though it was in plain english and you understood and everyone else that you'd say told talk to your friends and say does this not make sense to you this person doesn't get it no they weren't there they weren't at your level of consciousness they have done the work and now they feel stupid that for ending this they want to action something what is this two of cups in reverse i feel like they want to come towards you now they're breaking down a home life for you okay they're they're learning they're they know that they have to they're going to they're thinking about actioning this they're in and out they're back and forth with it so it's not a solid plan yet again because they feel foolish they know that they have to work on this and they don't know how their family is going to take it people around them that it's going to be like okay how do i walk through this portal now but the door is open they know they're being called so they know that they have to put this in place because uh they're not quite actioning why are they back and forth with this action <laughs> they're gonna win it's competition they're still going through their darkness before that they can become victorious in this okay but they're they're forging ahead okay they're forging ahead it's causing a lot of emotional instability but they're not able to give anything yet but they do have a new perspective that's why they're waiting and they're procrastinating there's a delay that they're they're trusting the path now they're trying to integrate what their new perspective they're healing their broken heart from third party situations okay so they are moving forward but they're yeah what they have in their life is not what they want they want the destiny with you but they haven't fully come into that place again that's why they're looking at their investments they're looking at their options is what i'm seeing too they're trying to contemplate right now okay so how do i do this how do i actually come towards pile four how do i actually say to them i was a fool i was an idiot 
and how do I have an in-depth conversation? Because this person doesn't have in-depth conversation with anybody. This is all completely new to this person. This person does a huge awake and they're like, how do I even talk? Am I going to sound like a woo-woo now? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I sound crazy now. Like, how do I even say what I'm feeling and what I'm seeing? So they're still integrating some high energies here. Yeah, see the hierophant. They're still learning those lessons, okay? So they don't know how to put it into tangible communication. They don't know how to express it because this is a whole new way for them to communicate they want a commitment that's a higher level of love they don't know how to actually say it to you and they're like oh my god do i just say it do i sound stupid i don't want to scare them off they may be with somebody so they're going through all of these scenarios and so they're not entirely sure yet but look they want to charge forward okay so this person is in a transitional piece here um, they're contemplating, they're half between planning, half between not sure if they should communicate, but that's why they haven't contacted you up until this point because they didn't think that you guys would fit together. They felt the connection, but they didn't think how it could actually be grounded and they want to move forward. Now, look, they don't want it to end fully with you. Okay. They want to move through any delays of an ending that's going to keep them from moving forward towards you. So they definitely are persevering towards something in order to form a, a style of communication to talk to you um it's actually kind of cute oh i also found this on the ground the knight of cups was upright so they want, they definitely want to come forward but they're they're it's like oh, how do i say this let's see what else is coming through for pile number four why is pile number four's person not in communication with them why did they ghost them spirit why did they ghost them? Pile number four. Why were they ghosted? Why were they ghosted? Pile number four. Why were they ghosted? Why were they ghosted? Pile number four. They were being a snake. Okay. So they were being an ass. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> they were being a bit of an ass. Okay. Look at this. They're being a snake. They knew it. They, they, they see that. I don't think they realize that they were doing that, that they had narcissistic tendencies. Again, it's their level of consciousness. They're like, okay, this new age stuff, this like, oh my God, this twin flame, this whatever, this kind of, ah, it's too much, it's too much. Now they're looking at their options. Now they're like, damn, I feel like an idiot. I was an ass. How do I come forward to this person now? Because I caused a breakup, a separation. I have to break up in my life too. But this relationship is evolving to another level, okay? They've had a massive transformation, the butterfly. They're emerging. They're looking at this because they betrayed you and they, they were an ass. They, they completely accept their narcissistic behavior. This person is, is understanding, okay? They've gone through a deep healing. They know that you guys are twin flames. So they, this whole concept about twins, they weren't entirely sure about it. They weren't entirely sure about twin flames. They thought soulmate, twin flame, whatever. I could be with somebody else. Like, this is just some woo-woo stuff. Now, Spirit is saying, now. See, that's why they were in a karmic relationship. Now they know what's karmic, and now they know what's a twin flame. They didn't know. So whatever, if they were in a situation like it's done, it's and they're ending it, and they didn't know it, they're, they're, they're apologizing. They had to focus on themselves and their self-worth and do their shadow work. So now they're having that discernment of what's a real soulmate, what's karmic, and what's a twin, and now they don't think you're so crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, think of a question pile four of a yes or a no. We're super get a timestamp spirit. When will pile four's person contact them? When will pile four's person contact them, spirit? And we'll see if we get a yes or no for their answer, please, for their question. Can you please answer them? And what is going on for pile four's person, please? What is going on for pile four's person? What is going on with pile four's person? What is going on with pile four's person? Whoop, whoop, we're gonna take that. And we're gonna take that. Then when they do more than one of four. Okay. All right. Don't stop. Don't stop believing. That's what I'm hearing. Compromise. There's going to be a compromise that's going to come forward. They may come forward in a way of communicating with you that you may not be happy, but keep moving in your path, okay? This person is still figuring stuff out, okay? Um, they're asking help for others. They're trying to gain guidance. They really feel foolish and shameful, okay? They really do, but they are charging ahead. They've been learning their lessons, okay? So don't be surprised if they do come forward, but the Spirit's not giving a timestamp. They're going to be assertive, okay? They are going to be assertive when they do come forward, just so you know. 
Um, they're not going to stop. They're going to keep charging towards you. They're going to compromise. They're going to get help from others. They're going to basically woo you. They want me to pull one more card. They're going to woo you because they want success and big happy changes with you. Okay. So they're not going to stop with this. This person is very persistent when they really want something. So they're not going to take no for an answer. Yeah. You may have to like, don't stop and figure out your life and be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. This is intense, okay? So you didn't get a yes or no, but you got some great positive messages. If you want more detailed reading, I'm able to connect even deeper with people's energies. If this resonated for you, I am doing readings for June, one hour readings. Uh, make sure you email me down below because they're not available on my website.